Lucky, come. Good boy. You're almost out of treats. Good boy. Hi everyone, I'm Julie Marie from Protective Diet and this is a technique video to go with Lucky Dog Treats recipe. We have our batter is mixed up and I just want to show you how to spread it out into your pan to get an even bake. We want these treats to be crispy little biscuits. They're perfect training treats to go along with lucky dog food. We have many dogs within the protective diet community that are practicing a protective diet and living in harmony right along with their people. And so we had to come up with a treat to go along with the lucky dog food. You could use the back of the spoon to spread it out evenly in the pan and you want to use a 17 inch rimmed baking pan lined with parchment paper or lined with a silicone mat. I found that a spatula like this or an offset spatula works best to spread this fast. Preheat your oven so it's ready to go when you are. And I'm showing you this technique video to make it easier. I make these treats all the time, not just for Lucky, but all of his friends at the dog park, park to encourage their owners to think about adopting a protective diet for themselves and their pets, their dogs. So the best way I've found to do this is to start with it around the edges, because if it gets too thin on the edges, spread too thin, it will get too cooked, it'll get burned. So we want an even layer all around. So use your fingers to do that. And if you have kids, let them help you in the kitchen and give this batter a taste. It's so delicious and all organic, whole plant-based ingredients for Lucky. If you're finding it's a little bit thick in the middle and it's thin over here on the edges, just move some of your batter over and spread it in. You want this nice and even so we get a perfect, crispy, baked dog treat or human treat. These are good enough for us and our pups. And into the oven it goes. We've finished baking for the first part of the bake time. And now I'm going to show you how to release them from the paper onto a cutting board. We're going to cut them into small treats or big treats, depending on the size of your dog. I like to use them as training treats, so I make them a little smaller, so it's just a little little morsel of a treat or a little square. I have a 60 pound dog so they can be a little bigger. Make them the size according to the size of your dog. You can cut a few of these off of here and then it will fit my cutting board perfectly. make them into little squares. If you're giving these as gifts to anyone you know that has a dog, I guarantee their dog is going to love these treats. Lucky has a lot of friends at the dog park and at the beach and we've tried them out on every dog and now when, the other, when his dog friends see me or Jerry, they come right to us 
because they know we always have protective diet lucky dog treats in our pockets on every walk. These treats are very low in calorie, high in fiber, and nutrition. So you can give them frequently. There's no limit on these treats. Then I'm taking my baking pan with the same parchment paper and I'm transferring these treats back to the baking sheet. And they're going to go back into the oven so that they get nice and crisp. and back into the oven they go to get nice and crisp. And like I said, they're delicious, even for humans. And then each, each week, I take some and put them into a jar to keep them fresh in the freezer for his backup supply. And then I keep these handy in the refrigerator door so I can grab a handful and put them in my pocket for when we're going for a walk. This treat recipe is part of protective diet education programming. It's diet and lifestyle. If you want further guidance, support, and incredible protective diet, whole food, plant-based, vegan recipes. Take care, everyone, and best of health.